closed my first two clients in 10 days. 10 days, guys. So this isn't a joke. Follow these systems. Follow this map up I show you. And if you guys need help, comment down below and DM me on Instagram. And I hope you guys out for Everyone, free. I'm not going to waste any time in this video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to actually set up your SMA GA agency. Full. I'll also be making subsequent videos in terms of going into the details. If you guys want to make me a full video, right, where I go through every single step, let me know down below in the comment section all those steps live for you guys so we want to start with step one come up with an agency name guys you don't want to spend years and years thinking about agency name as you can see by this screenshot you literally just go on chat gbt and search up 10 agency names if you want to be more niche specific you just search you know 10 agency names for real estate you know age or whatever niche you're in you can search like that um so if you want it to be more general just type in agency name so you can actually hop between niches if necessary right times i see agencies so so niche specific so when it's time for them to actually switch niche they have to change their whole business again right so i would recommend having like a more general name actually you know talks about your service a little bit in the name as well so what then you want to do after you've picked your name you want to buy your domain website and set up your social media accounts for outreach right here, as you can see, it can be a professional or personal account, depending on the platform. The reason I say personal account is because a lot of outreach that's done on personal accounts actually get a lot of responses because you don't come across salesy or anything like that. Let's say initially, right? But of course, you know, you're able to get to know them a little bit more from a personal level rather than them seeing you're going straight to the business talk straight away, right? So that's why I do recommend using personal accounts in terms of outreach as well. But when it comes to LinkedIn, make sure it's always professional. Days ago, I, I did post a video on how to actually optimize your LinkedIn, how to send unlimited amount of LinkedIn messages as well. So you guys can go check that out if you haven't already. So like I said, you have to buy the domain. Ideally, you want to use either GoDaddy or Ionis. The reason I use Ionis is because I can actually buy the domain on ionis and it also create an email for me so i can send emails through ionis as well you know which is amazing daddy you basically just buying the domain out i'm sure you can probably you know have an email too i'm not too sure but on ionis i know for sure i can buy my domain and then you know get emails as well so i can actually have an in email inbox to actually receive and send out emails and you want to use wordpress but you can use whatever you want you know whatever you're comfortable with i'll say to speed up the process in terms of creating the website make sure you guys hire out a developer if you're not a website developer yourself make sure because that would take up a lot of your time and even them in creating it, it takes up time when they're even creating it so you want to get this process going as quickly as possible a lot of people say oh you don't need a website you don't need a website you don't need a website I believe that's totally wrong. I believe you do need a website so they can see the value and that you can actually send them, you know, your website so they can look into more details. So, you know, once they are getting on that call, they've done their due diligence on you to a good level rather than them just going in blindly. So I would say, guys, make sure that you have a website, right? A good Instagram, you know, Facebook account. So your account has to be good as well as having a website so you can actually show that extra social proof, right? So once you've done that, you know, you bought your domain, you set up your website, social media accounts, make sure you have good photos in your social media accounts. I don't want to be seeing any guys using anime, you know, all of these sort of thing. No, have a good professional, you know, um, picture of it. If it's a personal account, have a clear picture of yourself so they know they're talking with a human and it's just not a robot or some random, you know, whatever, right? So moving on then you want to actually create like a calendly link so you want to sign up for calendly and create a link for that and so you can actually book in those calls right so you can either start off by booking in the calls yourself so you just get their email and then find out the best time for them and book them in on google meet or wherever you're using to you know do your meetings on so you can do it like that but you can also create a calendly link yourself so whenever anyone wants to book you just send them a link um and then they'll book in their, themselves so the difference between of course booking yourself and using calendly is maybe when you book in yourself right you have a choice more on you know when they actually have that meeting but if you book in a, using a calendly link they can put it months months down the line whereas if you book in yourself you can basically have the decision of okay maybe next two days or next three days so that's in your hands basically um which is most of the time i do book in myself 
Um, but if, for example, I have like a potential client that's a bit shaky in a way, I basically send the Calendly link and then at some point they just book in a call um, because it does take some people some time to realize, oh my God, I need this, you know, that sort of thing. So I send in the link regardless if they're, any, if they're thinking about booking, it's just going to come up on my calendar and I'll get a notification on my phone uh, booked in, right? So moving on as quickly as possible, you want to create effective scripts. Guys, for all these steps, if you guys want me to make separate videos on these steps and actually how to get, go through them, let me know which steps that you know you want me to do down below the most in the comment section. Make sure I get that video done for you guys. It to be effective scripts, you know, how to have, build an effective script for whatever niche, let me know down below as well. So step four, you have to create effective scripts that people want to open. If no one wants to open your scripts, um, no one wants to open your messages, right? You're wasting your time. You are wasting your time. If no one's opening your messages, you're wasting your time. You're not going to get any clients. So you want to make sure that you have scripts that work and scripts that will actually, you know, allow people to want to open it. That's what I always say to everyone. If you were the one actually sending a message to yourself would you open your own message that's the question you should ask yourself and if the answer is yes then you have a good script if you are if the answer is no then your message is horrible so make sure you keep that in mind guys so you want to make sure you create um um, effective script so now we're done with the actual business setup phase of course there's other things in terms of you know creating like a logo all of the design sort of things you have your name you have your logo you have your banners you know like i said if you want me to go into more detail on the actual you know ground level setup you know from start to finish which will of course will be a much longer video let me know but i just want you to show you guys it doesn't take long to get started guys you guys need to get started as soon as possible a lot of people spend their time procrastinating and wasting a lot of time rather than just getting stuck in getting into the group of things and get moving right so once you've created effective scripts, you set up everything, you have your Calendly links set up, everything, you have your professional accounts, you have your LinkedIn, you have your Instagrams, you have your Facebook, everything set up well and everything looks good. Now you can go into outreach, which is the one of the key things. Of course, without the first things we talked about over here, you know, the outreach is going to become much, much harder for you, right? But if you do all of this well and you go on to outreach, you're going to have the best time possible, right? So, day one of outreach. You have different outreach methods and I recommend doing all of them, guys. A lot of people say, oh, if you're good at Facebook, just stay on Facebook. And if you're good at LinkedIn, just stay on LinkedIn. No, 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 no. You do all of them. The more you can do, the better. You don't know where your next client will go, will come from. Like I showed you in the last video, I created a post on LinkedIn and a lot of clients were, came from my LinkedIn post saying they want to book in a call. So, it doesn't matter about where it comes from as long as they come in is amazing so utilize linkedin send like 50 messages on linkedin a day send 50 messages on facebook a day send 50 messages on instagram a day send 50 emails out send as many as possible without getting banned of course send as many as possible guys that's what i'll say a lot of people spend a lot of time right you know wasting time saying oh i only want to send seven looms or five looms a day what you want to give yourself a five out of what five hour of what chance of getting a client what five people how do you even know they'll open your message i'd rather you send out a hundred messages of a good quality than even 10 looms honestly i know a lot of people will say otherwise but i do not believe that yeah this is a no bs i'm showing you guys no bs i'm telling you the truth guys so it's good to send looms but I would recommend if you are to send looms, which I don't, but if you are to send looms, right, I would recommend you send in the looms once they've shown the interest in your service, not just straight off the bat. They don't know you. They don't have to open their message. Most of the time, they're not going to open your message because you're relevant, right, to them at least until you show them the value that you can bring. So that's the importance, guys. Make sure you remember this. Uh, outreach is key as much as much as much i'll even add on to here cold calling if that's what you want to do cold calling can be quite time consuming of the day because it can take you know quite a few hours to get those calls through and things that's why i say these outreach methods are the best to start off with but if you have extra time get into cold calling pick up that phone speak to the business owners directly and get those you know confirmations essentially as well so that's what i'll say to you guys it's very very important to be on the ball be on the ball so 
LinkedIn outreach, like I said, I showed you a video on how to optimize your, your LinkedIn. There's also strategies on how to actually, you know, um, send automated LinkedIn. I'll make a video on that as well. Automated LinkedIn messages. So it will just send automated, automated. I mean, it has to do with sales navigator and things like that. But like I said, I'll make a video on that so you can send automated. But if not, send manually. I showed you a video on how to do that. Send manually, manually, 50 a day, right? You can do this. Then Facebook, you have to do manually. I'm not too sure if there's any systems at the moment, but if there is, I'll let you guys know. Um, but everything on Facebook is is manual, right? So basically you search in the bar your niche or you go to Facebook ads library and find companies that are running ads. Most likely they have money. So then you go and you know, have that conversation through there, right? And Instagram outreach, go through hashtags, go through search bar, you know, things like that as well. In terms of automated Give me a second. In terms of automated email outreach, the best platform is Brevo. Brevo is on tap. People don't know about Brevo. You guys need to get on Brevo. I put the link to Brevo in my in my bio, right? By um, down below in the comment section, I put a link to Brevo in there. Make sure you guys go and check out Brevo. It's an amazing email marketing system um, that allows you to even send. I think it's like ten thousand free emails a month. What? for free just to sign up so if you guys are not utilizing this i do not know what you are doing start utilizing brevo now i have a link down below in the description click the link it is an affiliate link i'm an affiliate with them that's how much i um, believe in their processes and their systems so make sure guys you go and check out brevo go down below and sign up as quickly as possible right so moving forward you know send 40 plus messages daily on linkedin 40 plus messages on facebook 40 plus messages on instagram and 40 plus emails um on on brevo as well right so just emails right then you want to check responses of linkedin of course you want to check your responses make sure you're always on the ball guys you don't want to be sending out responses in two three days guys these people don't have to respond to you and they've responded right so make sure you act accordingly move accordingly respond to them in an hour hour 30 minutes 20 minutes as quickly as possible right not too desperate but as quickly as possible quickly the the key here is quick 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 you need to be on the ball i know a lot of people are doing a lot of other stuff like going to school or going to work and things like that but put your notifications on so when you get that message on linkedin or instagram or whatever you can react 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 and send them a message send them a loom whatever you want to do right so you want to check for responses right you also want to follow up so where check responses comes in as well of course you go through your script you book them in for a call and you get on the sales call right so then what you want to do is follow up so you want to follow up on all platforms so say for example you send out 40 messages and you didn't get no response you want to follow up on those 40 people maybe at the end of the day right so towards the end of the day you follow up oh yeah so were you able to see my message that sort of thing so just follow up on them as much as possible so there's no excuse there's no way you didn't see my message <laughs> there is no way you didn't see my i messaged you three times there's no way so that means they're just not interested right but if they didn't see your message once you could they could easily just get away with it well i didn't see your message oh, la, 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 la. so you want to give them no excuse but to say yes i saw i saw the message now or i've seen it i'm just not interested so that's what you want to do guys guys that's what you want to do make sure make sure make sure you guys do this right so then i don't know why this thing's coming on my screen then you want to land your first client right so landing first client means you book them in or let's say not landed like completed but you book them in for a call that's what this means right then on the call what you want to do is I'll, I'll make a full video on how to actually be effective on sales calls as well and actually close clients on sales calls i've actually recorded a few live sales calls as well on clients i've closed so if you guys want to you know want me to release that let me know down below in the comment section as well just let me know anything that you guys want to see down below in the comment section so from there you land the first client in terms of getting them on a call and then of course from the call you close them out guys but the more of this you guys do the better the more of this guys the better the more send messages you send out the better whether it's Twitter, TikTok, everything, send out as many as possible. And then I guarantee you guys, even if you haven't closed on the, on the 14th day, you have the amount of experience necessary to actually know what to improve on and how to get better, right? I told you guys, I've done a challenge on the channel on going from 0 to 10k a month using SMA GA. And I closed my first two clients in 10 days, 10 days, guys. 
so this isn't a joke follow these systems follow this map up i show you and if you guys need help comment down below and dm me on instagram and i hope you guys out for free don't worry for free guys so don't worry about anything if you have a problem send me a dm if you want to see a video on how to do something in particular write it down below in the comment section i'll show you exactly how to do it and how to go about it right so that's it guys uh, just to round it off of course when you're landing clients in terms of you know on these platforms what you're going to do is then get on a live sales call you know just uh hash out the details find out a little bit more about them and of course you know um something like a presentation or show them a live demo or something right so another thing what i would say is you know here it can either come here right here where you actually create a presentation that you're going to use for the sales calls but this is just for the outreach so maybe after you you've, you've done your outreach right you want to then let's say you know s create presentations using canva you know things like that as well if you want me to show you how to make create effective presentations let me know down below as well right guys it's very very important so this is just for the setup side guys this is for the setup when it comes to the actually closing and actually you know the presentations and all of that i'll make a separate video on that on actually how to close those clients right so that's going to be more targeted guys if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you smash that like button subscribe show some love to the channel i want to be posting as regularly as possible for you guys so you guys can get all the value possible and actually you know accelerate and get your smaga off the ground guys i appreciate you guys show some love um put a like on the video comment anything you want down below and anything you want to see and i'll see you guys in the next video peace